What's up everyone? How you doing? This is Talal, host of Hustle Star Life Motivation and I'm super excited. I'm super excited to be here with you today because I have a phenomenal guest who is here to add a lot of value to us. She is an international speaker on the topics of radical influence, publicity, networking, kindness, and referrals. She's also the author of four best-selling books, including Get Noticed, Get Referrals, Guerrilla Publicity, and Networking Magic. Her latest book, Profit of Kindness, went number one in four different categories. She is uh, she's the CEO of the strategic consulting firm and has over 20 years of experience working with over a hundred thousand people plus national and international media. So please help me welcome Jill Lublin. Jill, welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm so glad to be here with you. I'm glad to have you here. Jill, let's start off by talking about your journey. Um, you have achieved a lot, and it's very, very impressive what you managed to achieve. You are a best-selling author uh, multiple times. You are an international speaker, and you are actually traveling to London next week to deliver a talk here as well. So I'm just wondering, how did you get started in all this, and how did you manage to create such extraordinary results? Um, well, thank you for that, number one. Number two, you know, I, I really started in uh, the area of public relations. I actually had a PR agency. I worked in the music business, and, of course, that's all about perception. So it's always been, for me, about helping people get their message heard and doing it in a way that's um, focused and consistent, and that's really always been my passion. My mission is to help messengers get their message out. And then while I had the PR agency, I got tapped on the shoulder to do a book, and my first book, Guerrilla Publicity, came out, and then I was very blessed, and now I have my fourth book out called The Prophet of Kindness. Um, so, you know, obviously with all my books out, I know a lot about how to get a message out and how to be clear with your message, and so now I'm helping others do that through my publicity crash courses and consulting and speaking and training all over the world. That's fantastic. Jill, in terms of actually writing the books, I mean, you've written four number one best-selling books yourself. And mm. you help other people, you know, with their books when they're uh, writing the books or launching the books and help them with the publicity and how to structure the message. Why is it important to have a book published? Mm. How does it bring a credibility or how does it bring actual value to your brand? Thank you. Great question. The important piece is that, you know, what I noticed when Guerrilla Publicity came out is that all of a sudden, you know, truthfully, people looked at me differently, thought of me differently. The credibility factor went way up. That's what happens when you have a book. I was able to charge more for my speaking and consulting. That's always good, right? So why does it help? That's why it helps. And now, frankly, I've been helping other people get book deals uh, throughout North America and in English. And then people who are self-published authors, I've been helping them get foreign rights deals so that their books can have a global impact and go all over the world. Wow, that's very impressive. Jill, writing a book seems like a really, really big task. I mean, when I sit down and think about, well, can I write a book? It seems like a really big mountain to climb, uh, It might take months or even years. Is that true? Is, is that how long it takes? And what advice can you give for the people who are sitting there thinking, well, I do have an idea. I do want to write a book, but it just seems such a big task to tackle. Sure. And you know what? The truth is, well, frankly, I've been selling people's books without a word written. I actually think it's a great idea not to write a book until you get a contract. So that's what I do. I get people contracts with agents and publishers before wow. they write a word. Yeah, isn't that cool? Mm. Um, you know, all four of my books, I didn't write one word until I had a contract and an advance. Isn't that great? So, I, no, I don't, you know, in some people's cases, I would have them start writing the book and get it out so that your book can get out and you can get that movement going. That's beautiful. It doesn't always have to be like that, though. So I'll just say that, that sometimes it's really just about focusing in on the right message in that moment, and then we get it into book form, and then we get it, and then we get it, and it keeps going. 
That's amazing. So you're saying that you can actually have a contract from a publisher, you can actually have an advanced form of publisher, and then you can start writing your book. That's that's really amazing. I, I, I didn't even know that that was even possible. So that's really amazing. Uh, thank you for thank sharing you. that. Thank you for sharing that. Now, obviously you talk about sharing the message and writing a book is just one way of sharing a message. Can you talk to us maybe about what other ways are uh, you can share your message? Sure. The message is really about using PR as a primary tool. So what's wonderful about messaging is that you can go out into your local papers, your TV, your radio, blogs and podcasts just like this, right, and that you want to start spreading and keep spreading your message further and wider. So the biggest first thing to do is to create what I like to call this statement, uh, the problem today is, and then give an answer to people about what is that problem and frankly, why should they care? Always got to answer that question, why should people care? So you want to solve problems out in the marketplace and I think that's really an important piece. Right, so your message should be focused on solving problems. Is that exactly. Right? Okay. Yes, exactly. Love it. You got it. <laughs> Love it. And solve problems and be practical and and give what I like to call value and ben value and benefit. Awesome. And in terms of the structure, Jill, because obviously this show is all about the hustle, and I believe that you need to hustle in every area of your life if you want to achieve success, if you want to achieve holistic success. And mm. in terms of getting your message out there, what advice can you give us about how we can we structure our messages to make sure that it will add value and it will be successful? Yeah, so structuring the message is really about creating something with clarity and consistency. Speak in five-year-old language. Don't try to, you know, like wow them so much that nobody understands you anymore. So that's really a big thing that, you know, surprisingly a lot of people don't connect to. That it's important to um, make your message really simple and make it so that you're giving the 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 golden nuggets, I'd like to call them, and, and that you're delivering good value right away. So when I do my message, and I'm happy to do it for you, I'm giving thousands of dollars of PR advice very, very quickly. Really important. Give real advice and give it quickly and tell people what to do because Talal, here's the good news. They're going to have to hire you anyway because they, <laughs> probably will not, they probably will not know how to do what you tell them to do. But be, be valuable. Be valuable. Right. So, Jill, that was fantastic that you shared that with us. I absolutely believe in bringing value. Oh, screen's going. There we go. Okay, cool. Is that better? Yes, perfect. Okay, cool. So, Jill, I absolutely be believe in bringing value and showing people how they can essentially go and help themselves. Because I think it's not if, if I believe yeah I, I want to go and help help people I want to help everybody that doesn't work they need to be willing to help themselves that's true they have to be willing to help themselves but they still have to know how you will help them mm. and that has to be clear and it has to be specific so two words that I like to use with messages is to be concise and precise mm. be concise and precise Keep your message focused, keep it simple, and keep it easy. And if you follow those pieces of advice, I promise you, your hustle will be a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. So, Jill, is there, is there a difference in how you share your message on different platforms? So, for example, if you're sharing your message on social media, is there a dif difference in that to where, how you would share your message, for example, on your website or in your local newspaper or in the newsletter that you send to your email list? Yes, thank you. That's a great question. And yes, it's different. Um, you know, like when I send out my easing and different things to communicate to my clients, or people on my list, I can go a little deeper, a little longer. On social media, you got to be quick, focused, fast. Mm. I don't think people will read really long things. My general rule these days is less is more. Mm. So I don't actually think you should overwhelm people with big sales letters anymore. I don't know that that works as well. There are always the people who are the analyzers, and yes, they want to read a lot. They want to go deeper. They want to know more, right? But... Um, 
I want you to have multiple ways to reach people. For the people who just want a paragraph, give them a paragraph, and then you put that read more here, you know, and let them cl click. And, and for, you know, the analyzers, the people who want more detail, they will look at that. Um, so always provide ways for multiple personality styles to be able to view your work. Um, and I think that's important. So obviously social media is faster, and the truth is if you write too much, people won't read it. They'll just, oh, they'll keep moving on, you know, like that, right? And, and so I think that that's really a key is think about how you can reach people quicker and faster. Awesome. And what you talked about there is like sharing the, you know, read more here link or find out more here link. That can be a great way to actually drive traffic to your website or to your landing page, your sales page, or something like that. Would you would you say that 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 actually is is something that people need to be using? Um, I think that it's it's important to use multiple forms and ways to reach people. You know, I mean, listen, it drives me a little crazy. I have some people messaging me on Facebook. I have other people texting me. Other people email me. The truth is, now we gotta we gotta balance and juggle multiple ways of people reaching us. But one good, great PR tip is to find out how the person, like my consulting clients, I will say, how do you like to be communicated with? Mm. Right? And and I need to be flexible with um, some like text and some like email and some like, you know, LinkedIn and some like Facebook Messenger, et cetera, et cetera. So, Always be prepared for multiple ways that people like to connect with you and make yourself available in multiple ways. And this is the big stretch in these days. I, you know, I think to be a modern day hustler and, and business person, and I use that in the nicest term, pos nicest way possible, you have to know how to operate and be flexible. Um, and I think that's really a key. You know, I have to tell you just, um, with my newest book, Profit of Kindness, we interviewed a lot of companies, and I came up with what I call return on kindness principles. Instead of ROI, it became ROK, rocks. Right. And one of the, one of the rocks is flexibility. Mm. And really what I've learned in business, like you and I had to be flexible, right, even on, this, on the, putting this podcast together. And I think that's really a key is that this is the new way of the world, and don't be too rigid because I'm going to tell you, if you're so rigid, you're not going to be doing business in the new way. And and flexibility is key. Flexibility is key. I love it. Mm -hmm. Joe, obviously you talked about flexibility and being able to share the message in different ways. Is there one way that you think works best for example is it video is it audio is it social media is it a podcast format mm. you mean in terms of the best way to reach people yeah uh, you know i don't know that there is a best way these days i think the, <laughs> i think i think there's multiple ways okay notice the fingers mm. i think there's multiple ways you need to be able to have multiple ways so podcast is great P pr and by the way that is pr a public relations looking at at um everything from newspapers and radio and tv and social media and po podcasts and blogs i count all of that in in your publicity and guess what else i count in your publicity from the minute you walk out your door guess what you're doing mm. public relations <laughs> that's yeah. the key yes so that's really important. It's all public relations, and it's all about getting your message out mm. so that your new way of get, being in the world is seen and heard. I love it. Fantastic. Joe, what, what should be the, what's the ideal length, you can say, for the message? Because some people say you need to have an elevator pitch ready, right? That you can just recite it off the, the, off the top of your head without even thinking about it. You need to have, you know, something, something like a, a, a one-sentence thing that you can just say to somebody when you first connect with them to explain, you know, what you're all about and what your business is about and what your life is all about. Would you recommend that or is there, is there a certain length uh, to, to the message that, that we need to have? So I think what's key is, uh, you know, I just taught my publicity crash a course and I do it live Zoom, right? Because people are all over the world. 
And I gave them each 15, no, was it 15 even? 15, yes, it was, 15 seconds to say who they were, where they're from, what their business is, include their website, I might add, and what are they an expert in, in wow. 15 seconds. Wow. And they did a great job, <laughs> and, I'm gonna, and some kind of stumbled and kept going and was too long and not really relevant. And so think about how you feel when someone can't quite get to the point fast. So I think that's really a main point is powerfully connecting to your message to other people so that they can quickly and easily connect to you. Really key point. Make sense? Wow. 15 seconds. That's that's really short. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it is. Yeah. I, I, I'm not sure I can manage that right now. <laughs> I think that's really important, though, that, that people start looking how you can start doing that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can, I, can I try that? Can I try just saying all this in 15 Go seconds? Please do. Go for it. Let's, let's see if I can do this. This would be pretty cool. Okay, so... Hi, I am Talal and I am the host of Hustle is for Life Motivation channel where I follow the journeys and stories of really successful high achievers to tease out the golden nuggets in terms of how they manage to create extraordinary results in their life and achieve holistic success. How did that go? Little long. Little, little long. A little too much detail. Oh, so here's what I tell right. a little too much detail. Okay. So uh, you so your name and and uh, where you where you are. I mean, in this case, not in all cases, but you <laughs> help people. Go go for that one more time. You help people what? Um, I help people. I help people with finding out the habits the tips routines and the the beliefs that allow uh, high performers to achieve the extraordinary results they have managed to create I could I help high achievers uh, with the results that you'd like that you'd like to create use you language bring it back and that's a good short version right okay Okay. See yeah, how I, that goes? I see the difference. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's it's interesting, isn't it? And I'm going to tell you, people will feel the difference. Mm. Uh, what I've noticed is just when you get down, get right in, it's just so much more powerful and focused and just people really get it. Yeah. I mean, I think like with the first one, I was actually trying to explain. I mean, there's a lot of explanation there compared to the second one. Exactly, exactly. Mm. Too much explanation. Can I just be honest? This, <laughs> yeah. this is, but this is what most people do. You are not alone. This uh, is what most people do. See, this is challenging because I, I, I was trying to say exactly what I think um, will, will help people understand what I do on the show and what this show is about. But that was just me saying a bunch of stuff and, and stringing it together. Yes, exactly. <laughs> right. Okay. I'm, I'm, I, I, I think this is really useful. I, and for the audience here, I think this is a really good exercise for me. And, and I'm sure you found a lot, a lot of value in this as well, that you only have 15 seconds to introduce yourself, say what your business is, and what you do in just 15 seconds. I thought that was really powerful. So thank you, Father Joe. You're so welcome. So Joe, what, what kind of tips can you give us in terms of structuring the message for the right uh, sort of audience? For example, if you have a, you know audience that is quite uh, young, do we need to make sure that, how do we make sure essentially that the message is structured right for them? Or maybe the audience is people who are only uh, interested in one thing, let's say uh, personal development. Um, I think that you, it's best to uh, get the message focused, I think would be really helpful and not have it too, um, like too many possibilities because that confuses people a little bit. So I always like keeping messages as focused as possible. I think that really just makes a difference. Right, okay. And Joe, you 
said that with keeping the message focused, it needs to communicate to the other person uh, or, or to the audience what is it that you're talking about in essentially just 15 seconds. Exactly. Uh, then, as then, but then the issue is, I like as I like to say, then then we can talk, right? Yeah. Somebody will say, "Really? How do you do that? Tell me more. I want that next question." If their eyes start glazing over, they go, "Oh, that's nice." They're not your client. They're probably not interested, or you didn't hit the message right. It can be any of those three. Yes, and that's where I was going actually with that. Like, how do we make sure that they have understood? Ah, you can. You can, one thing I will do is look at somebody and go, does that make sense? Right. That's all I ask. Does okay. that make sense? And they'll go, oh, yes, or no, tell me more about that, or yeah, I get that. And then I might say, good, is that something that interests you? It allows an opening for more discussion. Right. And in terms of when you're actually posting something on social media or on your website, is it worth maybe trying different versions of the message and see which one which one kind of gains traction. Yes. Yeah, so here's a great example. Um, I you know, I think I think it's really a wonderful thing around um, for instance, um, wait, I just lost my train of thought there. Please bear with me. I'll come back. Ask me the question again. So, my question was that when you actually uh, share the message on uh, different places, how can you can can you have different versions essentially? Can you have different versions of the message to see which one gains traction? Yes, thank you. I think it's a great question, and the truth is, your message needs to be focused sometimes differently than you might expect. So, for example, my client from Australia, um, after taking my publicity course uh, at live Zoom, right? We were uh, hanging out doing his message piece and. We switched it because he was just kind of going on and on, a little too explanatory, and we switched it. He put that on Facebook, a very short, simple message, clearly. Do you know that day he got 225 likes? Like, wow. hello, I, I'd like 225 likes any day hmm. on anything. And that up-leveled his um, way that people were communicating with him really, really quickly. It made such a huge difference. So that was a beautiful thing. I really want to, you know hone that one in right wow that's a that's a great story actually so yeah it's not fun yeah and, and it shows the power of having that focused message that you're communicating to other people and they they just get it they just understand it yeah exactly and that's all they need to do right we don't mm. need to do that much more and be that much more and you know so I just I just think that's important awesome and Joe is there going to be a difference between your message if you are somebody new, if you have a, you know, a, a new business, a new company, versus if you are already a big established company or you, you already have a big business? Um, I think that the issue is uh, it will be different, yes. And you know, uh, businesses that are just starting, yes, it's a little, uh, we take it a more baby step. But you know what? We also baby step adult businesses too. And and I think sometimes people assume that you know what the heck they're talking about and they don't always. So I think that's a real key, right? Yeah. Uh, about how to do that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Jill. Right now, is there a question that I haven't asked you, but I should have asked you because obviously this is this is not something I'm an expert in. This is something I, I'm I'm trying to find out and learn more about myself as well, and I'm I'm hopefully sharing uh, this this video and this content with my with the audience and help them with their journeys as well in terms of how to come up with the message and share it. Is there a question that I haven't asked you that I should have asked you? Mm. I think the biggest thing is why is publicity important? Mm. Okay. Yeah. Um, so uh, here's the deal. Publicity is important because it builds more credibility, more visibility, more f uh, trust in the marketplace. It gets you more clients, more exposure. It creates that I've heard of you somewhere syndrome, and that's why it, it, publicity is important. And I think um, I think that's really that's really the big end game is that publicity drives profits, drives 
the power of na- name recognition drives trust, gives you um, more clients, and that, my friends, is the bottom line. Beautiful. Beautiful. Right, Jill, let's take it in a slightly different direction. And I just quickly want to ask you, are there any habits or tips or routines that you have that allow you to perform at such a high level and allow you to, Uh, you know, create all these extraordinary results? Well, thank you. I have a a very strong spiritual practice. I think that really helps. Um, Meditation, uh, also self-care. You know, I mean, I you know sometimes I just go okay. I I just need a bath, <laughs> and I and I take a bath, or I you know I try to take a half hour to eat. Didn't quite work today, but um, you know just just making time for me. I go out in the sunshine and sit on my deck. Um, I think self care is really a key, and especially as the world gets faster, which I don't know about you, but I certainly feel it has. I think many of my clients are feeling that, and any business business person or entrepreneur startup feels that so take care of yourself Mm -hmm. and I think for me self-care has been a very important uh, and new behavior to a certain extent but very important in my life beautiful well there you have it guys our amazing conversation will with the with the great Jill Lublin it's been absolutely phenomenal having her on and uh, as always I just want to ask you what what were your biggest takeaways what were your breakthrough moments from this conversation please leave the comments below share this video with somebody who you think needs to hear this message who will benefit from this content so as always I'll ask you guys to subscribe because it really helps the channel grow um, and uh, I really appreciate it so Jill um, I just want was wondering how how can we actually help you right now and uh, where can people go to find out more about you and what you do well thank you first of all I'd like to give all your listeners a free gift and that is um, I've created a wonderful CD that's very helpful for you for publicity more great tips very simple very practical check it out go to publicitycrashcourse.com slash free gift Also, if you have any questions, I can help you do books or um, get your publicity out or if you're interested to talk to me about my publicity course, please go to jilllublin.com and I think you're going to put these all in the show notes too, but that's J-I-L-L and then it's L-U-B-L-I-N, jilllublin.com and let me see how I can help you get your message out. Love it. So guys, all those links will be below in the description of the video. I'll highly urge you guys to go ahead, take action and just reach out to Jill and start that conversation. With that, Jill, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. It's my pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jill. And guys, hustle hard, take care and I'll catch you in the next one.